PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools. How are we all going today? Now the beautiful day on my side of the world. Hey, I was on my run the other day and I got given this lawnmower. This lady came out of the house and says, hey, do you want this lawnmower? And I says, well, what's wrong with it? She says, oh, it's just lost power. The engine's buggered. And thought you might want to take it to the scrapyard. So I actually pulled the thing over on the side of the road and the thing starts up all right. It just doesn't rev up. So I said to the lady, sure, I'll take it for scrap. But then I had got it home and I had a look at it and I thought, I reckon I can fix this in 10 seconds flat. And why I like this, guys, is because it's the old Briggs & Stratton motor. The old uh, three and three quarter horsepower. I think it's three and three quarters, is it? Yep. 375 horsepower. And they're a good old motor, eh? And I don't like the modern ones. They seem to rattle around a bit. And this thing will go for another 20 years if it's looked after properly. But like I say, I reckon I can fix it in 10 seconds flat. Anyway, guys, that's what the video's about today. We'll see if we can fix this mower and pick the mower's lawns. Anyway, guys. Same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and I'll start this and show you what I mean. Now if we look here guys, it's got uh, stop, start, choke. So about there should be full speed. Yeah, I'll start it and I'll show you what it doesn't do or what it does. But it starts real easy and it sounds real nice, that's why I wanted to have a play with it. Like I say guys, I reckon it's probably 20 years old, 25 years old, but it's got the good old motor on it and that's what I like anyway. Right, so I'll show you how it starts, guys. So if I've got the choke start there, guys, it should start up, and then if I go down here, it should rev up. Right, let's have a go. Here we go, sounds good, eh? And if we have a look here, guys, I'm on choke, so if I put it back a bit, it should speed up. See that it does it? I just can't get any speed out of the thing. That's the maximum speed it's going to go. And that's on choke. You can't run it all the time on choke. Hey guys, you know when you're mowing your lawn and you're going under hedges or you might have a car or something parked on the front lawn that's been there for 10 years, <laughs> like in my front yard, and then you slide the front of your mower under your car or under a hedge or whatever, and what it normally does, if you look here, there's a bit of a mechanism here that alters how much gas the carburetor gets. So if you go under something pretty close and it's pretty tight, chances are it'll bend this thing up, and I think that's what's wrong with this mower. And uh, nine times out of ten, you'll probably find with your own mower as well, if it, if it won't rev up and you've been mowing and you've been mowing under something quite low down and you might have pushed this in, because it doesn't really matter what sort of mower you've got, unless you've got something that's going to cover this and protect it, you're going to have the same issues. So anyway, let's see if my theory is right and see if we can get the thing to speed up. Hee-ha! See, if I move the cable, guys, you see that there? This is what we're looking at here and it just gets bent up. Every time you go under a hedge or something, like I said before, it'll bend this up, and then it'll alter the spring in here. So let's see if it is. So if I quickly take the air filter off, guys, we'll see what's inside it, and you'll be able to see exactly what I mean. There's a little spring thing in here, and if it's not in exactly the right place, you can't get any revs out of your mower. So here we go here, guys. We've got a spring here, which is quite loose. It's on a little sort of a duper thing here, so that's my technical explanation for a duper thing. And I reckon this has been hit, and it's pushed that back, and it's bent this round. So if you have a look here, when I increase or decrease the revs, see that here? It moves that, and the spring basically does nothing. If we pull the spring, you should be able to see that tightening up. And I reckon if I bend this out, it'll put some more tension on this, and we should get some revs. What do you reckon? So as you can see, this has been bent up, and I reckon well, it's been pushing into that, and it's pushed this backwards. So if I just get this and bend it a little bit, see that tension on that spring's getting more and more, like that. Now let's have a look. Hopefully that might be a bit better. Kick it in the guts, Pete, and we'll see, eh? <laughs> So guys, all I've done is just bent this out a little bit because I reckon it's had a knock on the front. We'll start it, see if we can get it to rev up. Yeah.
see what I mean guys we actually get the full rev range out of it now you can actually rev it right up and uh, it just doesn't sit on idle like it did before it still sounds good so there you go five minute fix so the moral of the story is if you're mowing under hedges and other bits and pieces and your mower hasn't got a guard around the front here just make sure you haven't bent this little thing back because this little spring here is a tricky little fella it automatically alters this float more and less fuel and that's where you're going to run into trouble so yeah check the most simplest thing first guys yeehaw right so let's put the air filter back on and go and mow some lawns eh <laughs> guys that was about my bullshit video for the day just a little simple fix might save you from throwing away your motor mower you might get a couple of years more use out of it little simple tricks like that can just save you a whole heap of money and save your day anyway guys same as usual you like my video subscribe drop me a like drop me a comment come say good day in the comments below tell me your tips and tricks to fix your old lawn mowers to keep them running for the next 10 years or so and we'll see you next time eh? if you want to see a video on how to clean out an air filter for the old push mower check up there and if you want to see how to take the spark plug out and do a little bit of a service on your mower, check on that side. Anyway, guys, see ya.